G'day! In today's video, I'm looking at a Lenovo V110. This one's running an i3 processor. Have a look on the back, here's some more details. A V110 15 ISK, model number 80TL. So, what I'm going to be doing in this video is taking this bottom cover off and replacing it with a solid state hard drive. So, to begin with, we're going to need somewhere to put some screws and a Phillips head screwdriver. So, I'm just going to jump in and just start taking out all of these screws. As I said, they're all Phillips head. Along the front there is one, two, three, four, five. Now, all that removed, try to try and take out the DVD drive. Now I'm just curious to see if this screw here held this into place. Yep, and that is a LG, I believe. Anyway, let's continue. With that removed, I should almost be able to pry this apart. Uh -huh. Now, from what I'm feeling here, there we go. Uh, it is the bottom that lifts away. Shut this, put it back over, and lift. Go. There we are internal. So first of all I'll have a little bit of a look at the board, which as you can see here, that's where the DVD lives. An, ext an extremely odd placement for a speaker at the back, at the bottom, underneath. So that's not really a great placement. As I can see, I'm not I'm seeing that as the only speaker here. Go to here. We do have another connector. So I'm not too sure where this one over here is going. Anyway, looking here, we have the connector for the battery. Not sure what this one's for. Display, speaker. So to begin with, I'll take disconnect the battery. Looking over here, we have a removable power jack, which runs to here, this cord going along here. We have the, uh, the CPU cooler, or the copper cooler, the fan, both replaceable. Also under here, we have four gig of integrated memory down here. And here we have the single slot for what I believe is DDR4, just being that this is a, got a 6100U of sixth gen Intel in here. We have a standard, pretty standard CMOS battery, a CR2032. And various jacks. Going back over to here, we have the wireless card, which is also replaceable. If I zoom in on there, we should be able to see a model number, hopefully. Spin that around. There we go. 3165NGW. Uh, and zooming back out, spinning it back around, we will be replacing here. Which looks to have been replaced at some point, I believe, being that the warranty sticker is void and there is some crap on there. So I'll move that out of the way. I'm going to disconnect this flex connector here, up and out, and back. From 
here. Should be able to wiggle this backwards. There we go. And we have a 500 gig WD Blue. So we're going to change it over to a Crucial BX500, 240 gig. So all this is very straightforward to do. Well, at least once you get to this stage, I'm going to take out the four screws. Out. One drive back in. Looking good. <coughs> Excuse me. One screw. Two screw. Ignore my sliced thumb there. Happened while chopping up some potatoes the other night. Well, about a week ago now actually. Hasn't been fun. One out of 10 star. Now, I have put it in the wrong way by the looks of it. No, back around this way. Wiggle this down and in. Put this single screw back in over here. Connect up the flex connector down here. This flicks up and back. This flicks in. And down, just like that. So with that reinstalled, and this taken out, we're pretty much set for the reinstallation of it. So we'll start by putting the back cover back on, which should click around the outsides. then drive back in. Then from here, we proceed to put back in the whole 12 screws we took out. And that should be all you'd really need to do. Well, hardware-wise, to replace the SSD in your Lenovo V110. After this, what I'm going to be doing is using the Windows 10 media creation tool to reinstall Windows or install Windows onto the new hard drive. With that being changed over from the standard SATA hard drive to an SSD, I'm expecting an increased boot time, basically an overall better, more pleasant computer to use, which that is virtually the case with any computer. Currently under the principle of any new computer or any second hand computer getting sold these days should have a solid state drive in it. Granted still maybe use the SATA hard drives for large capacity storage. So if you had a crazy amount of movies, but Netflix is kind of killing that nowadays. Or you just want to play Call of Duty Warzone, which seems to get bigger every week. And even though the game itself doesn't really dramatically change, but that's another argument. Anyway, I'm going to catch you guys later. I'm going to finish putting these screws in. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye. And as I say that, I realise I forgot to reconnect the battery. In I go.